This is my dream gaming setup. wanting to complete this project for quite some time now and finally I brought my vision to life and for you guys I'm going to be touring you through the room showcasing all of the products where I got them from how much they cost and listing every single thing in the description below to make it easy for you guys to find and just for reference everything will be in Australian dollars we'll also be tallying up the total cost of the room so you guys will have an idea of how much a setup like this might cost you but just to be upfront and transparent with you guys there are some brand deals and sponsorships in here so I did not pay for everything but I'm only required to give you an honest review on every product and if I'm really being honest it wouldn't be in this video and it wouldn't be in my setup if I didn't truly love it and one last thing before we jump into the video if you guys don't know who I am my name is Ilya I go by impact in the gaming world I'm a warzone player who streams on twitch and I have a whole bunch of other social channels that I create content on if you do want to find that again it'll be at the top of the description in my link tree now let's not waste any more time let's get into the video We're going to start off with the PCs and yes that is a plural because we're running a dual PC setup. The reason for that is that one PC will take the load off the other. I'm not a PC genius and I definitely don't know how to custom build my own PC. So we've been very fortunate to partner up with Radium PCs that hooked me up with an absolute powerhouse of a PC. And this PC is also listed on their website if you guys want to treat yourself. And you can also save $100 off the PC using my code. Now let's get into the PC specs and like I said I'm not a PC genius so if I do mispronounce something don't hold me to it. In the gaming PC we have the Ryzen 7 5800 x3d cpu paired with the latest msi geforce rtx 4080 graphics card we also got 32 gigabytes of ddr4 t-force delta ram one terabyte samsung 980 pro ssd which i'm pretty sure is like one of the best ssd cards to be running games on these components are sitting in the leon lee dynamic evolution tempered glass case in black which i personally love i think it looks perfect within the setup which is lit up by the leon lee uni fans which is extremely customizable and personally i think they look fantastic and then one of my favorite parts in the pc which is the nzxt aio cooler with the lcd display and as you can see we have goku completing the look and for anybody questioning its performance i get over 300 frames in call of duty warzone this pc i recommend a retail price is 5699 dollars but like i said if you do use the code you can receive 100 dollars off moving on to the streaming pc which is actually my old gaming pc so it's kind of a little bit of a powerhouse itself in there we have the ryzen 7 5800x the geforce rdx 3070 graphics card we've got 32 gigabytes of ddr4 ram but an nzxt crack and liquid cooler and we're running the fractal design meshify case which is not really for the visuals it's more just for the performance we have the elgato hd60 pro which is essential to have a capture card in a dual PC setup so you can send the video from the gaming PC to the streaming PC and capture it all. PC did cost me a lot more back when I did purchase it but in today's prices you can build it for around $3,300. Moving on to the hardware we'll start off with the monitors and for my gaming monitor I got the LG Ultra Gear 27 inch QHD 1440p 165 hertz gaming monitor that is a 700 dollars monitor right there and above that we have another 1080p 144 hertz gaming monitor that costs 460 dollars and on the left side vertically mounted we've got another 27 inch lg monitor at 300 dollars controlling all the audio in our system we've got the go xlr which is pretty essential in a dual pc setup a little bit overkill in a single pc setup but it gives you a lot of control over your audio and it's a pretty cool tool to use that will cost you upwards of 600 dollars on amazon next to that we got a stream deck which is definitely not a necessity but it's pretty convenient to have and i personally really like it. this will cost you 210 dollars for my headset i'm running the astro a50s which is regarded as one of the higher rent gaming headsets in the wireless category i personally like it but i'm not an audio technician so i wouldn't know how it compares to other headsets i just know that it works for me feels great sounds great so i'm happy the astro a50s that recommend a retail price is 600 dollars but you can definitely find it cheaper if you shop around laid out across the desk we've got the gk40 xl mouse pad which i personally love from logitech i think it looks really good and it feels really good and for only 40 dollars it's at a great price sitting on that we have the g915 tkl keyboard which for me it sounds great feels great and it also looks perfect within my setup now i'm not a mouse and keyboard player so i don't need the top end mouse and keyboard i know that this is a very competitive keyboard but as for my mouse i'm just running the g305 lightspeed wireless gaming mouse the keyboard is valued at 229 dollars and the mouse is valued at 60. For anybody who was questioning how i have two pcs and only one mouse and keyboard that's because i use this usb switch which you can find on amazon for just 50 dollars it's definitely worth it because it frees a lot of space up on the desk and i stuck mine to the underside of it so it makes it easy to access and out of sight now like i just said i'm not a mouse and keyboard player i'm a controller player and all of my controllers of controller mods are you i have a total of five of these controllers and the price of these depend on how you actually customize it for example all of 
of my controllers have back buttons that can be programmed to any button on the face of the controller. I have digital triggers and bumpers that act the exact same as mouse clicks, interchangeable thumbsticks and right thumbstick tension to give me the most control over my right thumb. I have pro grip on the back and soft touch grip so I never slip and all of them have their very own custom design. We've been very fortunate to launch our official impact controller which is available live on their website right now if you guys want to purchase it. And I would be very humbled and grateful if you choose to do so. And it's also your lucky day because they sent us an Xbox custom controller which we're going to be doing a giveaway on TikTok so make sure you're following over there. Each of these controllers cost approximately $400 and since I have five of them that'll bring in an approximate cost of $2,000. Onto the webcams and I have three of them and what you can see now is I'm currently recording off the Logitech stream cam which is one of the higher end webcams not quite a camera quality but definitely one of the better webcams to be getting and that's priced at $229. Also got the C922 and the C920 which is valued at $280. My mic right here in front of me is the Blue Spark SL from Blue Mics which I absolutely love and not really because it sounds crisp and clean but more so because it's extremely aesthetic and it suits the setup perfectly. It's been held up by the Blue Compass mic arm one of the best on the market and if you're coming from a flimsy mic arm trust me this is one of the best upgrades to make. The mic is valued at $350 and the Compass arm is valued at $200. $100. I also got a wireless charger just because of the convenience of being able to charge your phone whilst you're on your PC. And I also have an additional foot pedal down below so I can use it for push to talk on Discord. So that way my foot just presses the button, it mutes me and unmutes me when I want it. Now for one of my favorite parts, which is the Everdesk. This is the Everdesk Max. This is the top of the range Everdesk, maxed out with all of the options, spanning 160 centimeters wide and 70 centimeters deep. It can elevate to a total height of 124 centimeters and go as low as 60. And most importantly, it has a ton of cool features. The first one being the unigroove at the back of the desk where you feed the cables through. And because it spans the whole width of the desk, it doesn't matter where you place your gadgets, it keeps the cables clean. The child lock feature is perfect for anybody with kids. And to make the transition between sitting and standing a whole lot easier, there are three preset height adjustments you can have. There's also a built-in health coach that you can use, which sets reminders and vibrates the desk to remind you to sit or stand. I don't personally use it, but I think it's a pretty cool feature. This desk will set you back $1,169, but it is the most expensive option of this desk. So you can definitely get it for cheaper. Plus on top of that, I've also got a code for you guys to use so you can save some extra money. They also sent me this cool bundle that includes this spine and tray to keep my cables organized, a standing mat to use when you're standing at your desk. My personal favorite, this black metal pin ball, that works perfectly within my setup and a few other things that I haven't quite made use of. This would cost an additional $463. And now for one of the most important parts in anybody's setup, and that is the chair that you spend countless hours in. Now, let me tell you, please do not go for a gaming chair. I sat in one for the past three years and almost broke my back. If you're going to invest into a proper gaming setup or any office setup in general, you should be looking no further than a quality ergonomic chair. This particular ergonomic chair is the ErgoTune Supreme. And I understand why it's called Supreme because it's so customizable that you don't fit the chair Chair, the chair fits you. The headrest alone goes up and down, in and out, and it even tilts. So if you have bad neck pain like me, you should already be sold. The lumbar support moves with your whole upper body, and there's so many different tension adjustments, including the one that I use the most, which is on the recliner. You can have it bounce back at you nice and firm, or you can have it on easy and lay back and gaze at the stars. I mean, just take a look at what the armrests can do. I'm calling this chair Bumblebee because this is definitely a transformer. Personally, I absolutely love this chair. I cannot preach it enough. The ErgoTune Supreme is priced at $750. And if that's outside of your budget, you can go for the base model and you can also use my code to save some extra dollars. You will not regret that decision in the long run and your spine will thank you. Next to my desk, I also have a table from Ikea, which is just really convenient because I don't like to keep food on my desk. It only costs $39 and I think it looks pretty good. Now behind my desk setup up against the wall, I installed these sound panels that not only improve the acoustics of the room, but they also look great. And for 100 pieces, it only cost me $140. I cut the panels to fit these wall lights, which are actually really thick, but because they sit kind of flush, they look pretty sleek. And funnily enough, I sourced these off AliExpress for only $125, which pretty much makes it a really inexpensive option to nano leaves. To the left and the right, I'm using the Lytra Glows from Logitech as my essential lighting. They're priced at 100 each, and I mounted them up with some camera wall mounts that I found off Amazon. Off to the left, I have a canvas print of a family portrait, which just adds that personal touch to my room. And I have that lit up with an LED strip that's sitting on top of a shelf with a fake vine from Ikea to bring it to life. The canvas print itself was $80, and the shelf only cost me $20. And that brings me to the cinema part of the room where I have a 55 inch screen TV hooked up to my old PlayStation 4 and a beanbag for when we want to relax and watch a movie. The TV only costs 500 
PlayStation, surprisingly enough, still goes for upwards of $200, and the beanbag was only $50. That also happens to be my old desk, which you can get from Ikea for $150, and the humidifier you can find on Amazon for $70. I also got a few products from Kogan, with one being this gray mini fridge at a reasonable $159, a few LED strips around my room at only $20 each, a pack of two light bars for only $25, and a really cool Galaxy light projector for only $50 that really takes away from the fact that this is just a plain white ceiling. I also got these vines off Amazon for $40 just to add some character to this wall, which is actually a window. We have some more artificial plants from Ikea, including these ones that we put in some planter boxes with some black pebbles, elevated it on a paver to really give it that tropical look. Overall, the plants from Ikea cost me about a total of $200, and with the addition of the plant boxes and the pebbles, it cost us another $100. As for the back wall behind me, these are 3D wall panels that I actually got from AliExpress. They're like the cheaper version of the R3D wall panels, which I really think the R3D wall panels were probably the better way to go because they're 500 by 500, whereas these are 300 by 300. I would probably go with the R3D ones if I was to do this again. Those wall panels actually cost me a total of $700. Now for the custom impact logo behind me, this was 100% worth it. I sourced this off AliExpress for way cheaper than what I got quoted from other brands. This is a one meter wide logo that cost me $300 in total, whereas other brands were quoted me double, triple, and even four times that amount. The shelf behind me you can find from Ikea for $129. And on top of that, we have the Samurai Sword as a center piece which you can find for around $100. To the left we have a special edition 1.75 liter Belvedere bottle which costs $200 and on the right side is another galaxy light that you can find on Amazon for only $25. Inside the shelf we've got the Dragon Ball Z set valued at $400 because you'd be surprised how much these DBZ sets actually cost. The Vegeta light will cost you $40 off Amazon. We have a PlayStation light behind the AU mods controllers that'll cost you $75. And then we also have some waifu cups which we got from Gamersoft which is our choice of drink and since these shakers are limited edition people are actually selling them for more than recommended retail price on eBay. But when you purchase them off the website, they're 25 US dollars each, which is about $36 Australian, and the tubs of GG cost about 57 Australian each. You guys can get a discount on all gamer subs using code IP. You know where to find the link. And then to complete the bottom row, we've got two IKEA chest drawers that cost $38 and two storage boxes that cost 14. And now moving over to the final part of the room where we have the Bob Punching Man, which is one of my favorite pieces in the room. Because if you rage whilst playing games like me, this is perfect. And even though this will cost you a whopping $550, just think about all the money you'll be saving by not breaking anything else in the room. Plus, you can also find these a lot cheaper secondhand on the marketplace. Bob also happens to be representing the Impact merch, which we have some pretty cool Dragon Ball Z designs if you want to check them out. And now the last thing to keep in mind is there will be a lot of hidden things that will result to additional costs. Stuff like cable management, power boards, extension cables, picture hangers, and double-sided tape are things to consider. Just as a prime example, look at all the products in your setup and think about their cable length. I'm almost certain that something is not positioned where you want it to be simply because the fact that the USB won't reach. And that's just one example. Regardless, I've listed a whole bunch of this stuff down below to help you guys out. And that brings the total of the room to over $23,000 approximately, which is absolutely crazy. But just keep in mind, everything was at recommended retail price. I'm sure you can find things for cheaper. So hopefully I've inspired some of you guys with some new ideas or given you a better idea of how much a room like this might cost you. And if you guys have stuck around to this point in the video, make sure you comment down below goaded just so I know who the true goats are. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it very much and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't hesitate to drop a like on the video. That's all from me and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.